In order to be compliant with COPPA, I am informing you that this video has been created with general audiences in mind and is in no way targeted specifically towards children. By proceeding, you are agreeing that you are within YouTube's terms of service and older than the FTC's definition of a child, which means you are 13 years of age or older, and that my intention is now abundantly clear up front that kids are not my intended audience. Thank you for your patience through this short disclaimer, and I hope you enjoy the video. How's it going, YouTube lovers? This is the Eagle Boulder Animator. Welcome back to another video where today I am here to do another trailer reaction. Like I mentioned in a live stream I had earlier today where I was watching Minecraft Live, I was likely going to have another reaction video today because DC Fandom was going on, and at the very end of the event, they released the first full trailer, because the other one was just a tease because they had only a part of the movie filmed, the first full trailer for The Batman. I am looking forward to this, because I like that they're going with a detective route for this movie. I'm a fan of mysteries in general, and that's a fun way to approach Batman for live action. I don't think we've really seen live action Batman doing too much detective stuff. It's mainly just been awesome superhero. A real focus on, like, the noir detective is a really cool direction. And Robert Pattinson, I think, he'd do a really good job. Uh, I saw him most recently in Tenet, and he was very good there. So I'm looking forward to see what he could do with Bruce Wayne. So anyway, let's go ahead and watch this trailer, then we'll break it down afterwards. Police! Hands up! Oh, is that, is that Riddler? Stay still! Get out of here! Is there a question mark or something? Yep, called it. Is a tool. That's such a cool-looking Batman. Look. This guy. Good suit. It's not just a call. It's a warning. Oh, there's some of his tools. I've been trying to reach you. Find the gun. Rithers to match. Oh, Catwoman. I can take care of myself. If this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care what happens to me. It's only gonna get worse for you. Ooh. Oh, take it easy, sweetheart. Well, that's Penguin, right? Do they say, ain't you? Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? I love the visual look of this movie. I'm vengeance. about that. Oh, that's a cool shot. March 4th. Wow, that's really soon. I mean, t not really that soon, but it's considering we're in the latter half of 2021 and this is the early half of 2021, it feels really soon. All right, so let's go ahead and check this trailer out. So, it almost seems like from this beginning that the Riddler is going to be spending a bit of time, like continuing to operate even from inside the jail. Like, I feel like this this has the feeling that this takes place like halfway through the movie or something, where they think they've won, but he's still pulling strings, kind of like the Joker in uh, Dark Knight. Love the look of this movie. The bat suit. 
looks awesome. Seriously. It's a great design. It looks like the fights are pretty well choreographed too. Notice how we don't get to see his face there. I feel like there's a reason for that, like there's an injury or some kind of defining feature, or if it's that's not who we think we're talking to in this scene. Uh, sorry, I was talking over some stuff, should have paused. But, but yeah, this whole thing here, we never see the inmate's face. I feel like that this is either a misdirect to make us think he's talking to the Riddler in here, or if something happened to the Riddler that, like to his face, like some kind of injury. She looks like she's going to be a very good Catwoman. Fun fact, she voiced Catwoman in the Lego Batman movie, where most of what she said was just... Meow, meow, you're in! Meow, meow. But here, she's actually fully playing the character in live action, so that's good for her. That's going to be really cool to see. Yeah, so that is Penguin, and I believe he's supposed to, like, devolve more and more into Penguin as the film goes on. Oh, Alfred. Any circus is Alfred. No more lies. Coulson, Mitchell. Renewal is a lie. Savage, the sins of my father. Oh, is that going to tie into... Wait. Sins of my father. So is this... Is this Batman laying it all out, all the clues to figure out? So does he think this has something to do with his dad? Like, that's the connection? That's why it's personal? And you got these other names like Mitchell and Coulson. And I, again, I'm not... I don't know all the fine details of every single character in Batman. I just know the basics. But so if you know who those characters are in the comics, if they are characters in the comics, please let me know uh, in the comment section below. Seriously, I love how his eyes really stand out with the rest of the Batsuit. That fits perfectly. Oh, that, that right there, that gives us a good, for the main color scheme of the movie, the red and black. That's a great shot. Looks like Catwoman's actually going to be in it quite a lot. I love the way this is lit with the muzzle flashes. And the Batmobile. Love how it's like, old-fashioned. Okay, this looks like it takes place... This shot might be right after the final fight or maybe like the low point in the movie where he loses a fight or something because he's absolutely filthy here. Just that's what that's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah hold on, right, right there. Serial killer live streams. So again, this feels very... This feels reminiscent of the Joker in Dark Knight where he was broadcasting things and he would still had control even when he was captured captured he let himself get captured so that's what that's what i'm getting here is like riddler plus the iconic joker in the dark knight oh that's another cool shot So hold on, this this one right here. That explosion. This looks like from the first trailer. We have a scene where a car crashes into what looks like a church, like maybe there's like a funeral or something going on. And this looks like this might be part of that same scene. Yeah, no, you did definitely did not get Batman because. Because he's Batman. <laughs> and that final shot of Batman walking forward with the flames looks great. Again, I didn't get as much... Like I think that, like the one scene that really gave me the detective feel was, the, was when all that stuff was drawn out on the ground. Which is great. But I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more of the feel that this is a film noir. 
because that's what I'm I've been hearing from test screenings. It's it's supposed to be. So I was hoping to get a little bit more of that vibe from the trailer. But overall, this looks this looks like it could be fun. I'm cautiously optimistic. I will definitely be seeing this when it comes out on March 4th. So that was it. That was my reaction to the main trailer for The Batman coming out March 4th next year. I'm looking forward to this. Like I said, I really wish this trailer delved more into the idea that this is a film noir movie. Uh, I definitely get Batman fighting scenes and Catwoman is everywhere. And I get Joker vibes from the Riddler. But I didn't really get the detective vibe that I was hoping to get from that. So, hopefully that's just the cut of the trailer, and the full movie will be more like what is promised. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Please drop a like in the comment down below if you did, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys!